Hey guys, Pakuno here with Android Police. Ever wondered how secure your online accounts really are? Sure, you could have an extremely long password with various characters, numbers, and symbols, or even use some form of two-factor authentication to improve security. But even then, a simple phishing attack could obtain enough information to hack into your account. So what would be a better alternative? Hardware security keys for universal two-factor authentication, otherwise known as U2F. And since Google just released their own security keys collectively called the Titan Security Key, I thought I'd explain what security keys are and if Google's version is worth buying. The idea is simple. If you're using a computer, you get a security key that looks like a thumb drive and register it with websites that support U2F hardware authentication like Google, Dropbox, Facebook, Twitter, and more. I'll drop a link to a website that can tell you which sites support security keys. Once the key is registered to your account, whenever you try to sign in for the first time on a different computer, you'll need to plug in your security key, tap on its button, and you're logged in. For your smartphone, it's the same concept, but with more connectivity options. You can use a key with an NFC chip in it or a battery enabled key with Bluetooth and NFC support, though a USB key will still work on most phones. Just like a wired key, you need to register them with your account on supported websites. And whenever you try to sign in for the first time on a different smartphone, you need to wirelessly connect the fob via Bluetooth or NFC, tap on its button, and you're logged in. But why not use the other forms of two-factor authentication? Well, SMS verification is vulnerable to interception and socially engineered attacks at the carrier level. For example, someone can spoof your number, call your cell phone provider, and by pretending to be you, change where your phone number points. App-based code authentication such as Google Authenticator, LastPass, or Microsoft is a bit more secure, but it's still vulnerable to phishing attacks. And don't think you'll ever fall for these tricks. A well-designed email or website with a deceptively close design and link can fool anyone if they're not paying close attention. If you want to see how social engineering or phishing attacks work, then click that eye in the right corner to watch a video by Fusion where they explain these hacks in more detail. Lastly, verification by using another phone is not an option for everyone, since some people don't carry around or own two smartphones. So jumping back to security keys, on top of being secure, hardware security keys are usually cheap, so if you accidentally break or lose them, they're not going to cost you a fortune to replace. They're also really small, around the same size as a regular key, so you can put them on your keychain and take them with you wherever you go. You only use them on your first login for new devices, so you won't need them for every login. And some keys are even waterproof since they have a sealed design, like some USB-A models. Google's 85,000 employees have been using hardware security keys for over a year now, and in that time, they haven't encountered any successful phishing attacks. Perhaps as a result of that, Google decided to release the Titan security key for sale. So far, it's been marketed toward Google Cloud customers, but anyone who wants to can buy the bundle for themselves, though it does cost around $50, which can seem a bit pricey. In part, that's because they sell two keys in a bundle. One looks like a flash drive with NFC, which is more ideal for a desktop, while the other one is a wireless battery-enabled key with a micro USB port, Bluetooth, and NFC support. That one is a better option for your smartphone or tablet. The only difference between the Titan key and the random security key that you can buy off Amazon is that it's Google branded. There are no major software differences. But if two companies were selling the same product at the same price point, I would go with the brand that has a better reputation, especially with security. The only problem is everyone and their mama is trying to get one right now, and the Titan key has been back ordered till November. You know, I can't wait that long, so I went with the key by Ubico off Amazon. I bought a more expensive model for the NFC chip, but you can get a Ubico USB-A stick for just $20 and the same looking wireless fob by Phaeton for only $25. Now with a security key, you can join Google's advanced protection program. That's just a fancy name for a feature that will disable all your other two-factor authentication methods and make your physical security key the only second factor you can use to log into your Google account. In other words, with Google's advanced protection program, you can only log into your Google account with your password and your physical security key. That means no more SMS verification, third-party app authenticators, or second trusted phone verification. And it will make it harder for someone to get into your account with the account recovery process. So enrolling will tremendously enhance security, but it will be annoying to set up at first since every device that is associated with your Google account will be immediately logged out and Google wants to log back in on each device with your hardware key. Plus in the advanced protection program, you can't use third-party email ads for Gmail anymore. You can't use Safari as your default browser since Apple doesn't support U2F. And there may be other apps or services that also don't support U2F since it's still a fairly new concept. And make sure you don't lose those keys or you'll have a hard time getting back into your account. It's definitely not for everyone and thank goodness that it's an optional feature. 
Google's advanced protection program is more for high value accounts, someone who may be more vulnerable to cyber attacks such as a politician, celebrity, or journalist. For your average Joe, it's not as necessary. In conclusion, the best way to secure your accounts, Google or otherwise, is with a security key. There are various ones to choose from, they aren't very expensive, and they're small in size to stick on your keychain. Definitely purchase one if you believe that you have a high value account, or if you're in a position that makes you more vulnerable to attacks. Or just get it if you're interested in trying out hardware two-factor authentication. I'll drop a link to Google's Titan keys and a few other options from Amazon if you don't want to wait a whole two months for Google's version. Either way, that's it for this video. If you want to learn more about Google's Titan security key, I'll drop a link to Ryan's review over at Android Police. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome Android content. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.